so at one day the alarm started early in the morning and then it was quiet and no entwarnung, the other sound said the alarm is over. So we were wondering, we were sitting in the, in the shelter and everybody was wondering what was going on, quiet. All of a sudden we heard music on the streets, first far away and it came closer and it was strange music, it was Russian music. We heard soldiers singing, it was not our language. And then people said, oh my God, that's it, that is, that's it. This is probably the last day of our life. <laughs> it's emotional, okay? <sighs> mm. So suddenly it was very quiet and then the noise came closer to our house and then all of a sudden we heard heavy boots coming down stairs towards our bunker, to our shelter. The door opened and there were three Russian soldiers with Kalashnikov. They looked at every person in our shelter. Uri, Uri, they said. They wanted watches. You know, they probably in Russia at that time they didn't. The soldiers had nothing. Uri's jewelry, they took all the rings from the woman, earrings they took from the, from man, from the woman, watches from all, any jewelry they could find. And then other uh, uh, soldiers entered the, the shelter. I remember one, he, was, he looked like a, an Asian with um, eyes uh, like a Mongol. And he looked very cruel. And of course they were drunk. They were vodka. They had a lot of vodka. So they came in and then they looked around for young girls or for young women. Vrau, come, fünf Minuten, they said. Woman, come five minutes. So we didn't know what they meant. 